welcome back to the channel and another Kitty Ars Disney's Magic Kingdoms game live stream. Hopefully everybody is having a wonderful weekend and is ready to check out what is going on in my kingdom today. Well, I guess the last few days there is some progress um, to do with the event that just finished yesterday um, for Luca. So that was great. I did manage to get Urkele. So I'm going to be sharing with you the welcoming of that. And I'm also going to rate the character welcome screens, uh, you know, from best to worst. So I'm going to be doing that today. So hopefully uh, you guys stick around and enjoy the stream. If you guys do, don't forget to give it a big Mickey thumbs up. Subscribe, of course, if you guys are new. And don't forget to check out um, all of my social social media pages which you guys can playing individually or just playing social and you'll get my link tree and you'll figure out all of uh, the different links to the different stuff that I have going right now so hello special shout out to my current kitty team members that were here nice and early hello sickle x becky jared wiss uh, Char, hello guys. Thank you very much for being kitty team members and for being here nice and early Hopefully I see some of you guys are still enjoying those emotes and the paws are still changing colors, which is very fun for you guys. So again, thank you very much for uh, staying kitty team members. Yeah, my neck yesterday, I really wanted to stream for you guys, but it was so, so bad. It was literally making me sick to my stomach, the pain. Um, so it was just, it was really crazy yesterday. And I just, the headaches it was giving me was just wild. Um, and I was like, I really got to do this. And I was like, I just can't. I tried getting ready and I just couldn't do it, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry I couldn't share that with you yesterday. Uh, but feeling good enough to do it today. Neck's still like ugh, stiff, but um, it's manageable. I can, I can push through this for sure. I don't know what. It was slept on it wrong or... Um, it was a couple of days ago I had started noticing it, but now it just got to the point where it was just unbearable. So, yeah, after my fun on, what was it, uh, Friday night or whatever, yeah, it was just like, I don't know, I went home and went to bed and I just, I literally just couldn't move the next day, so um yeah no idea but uh i am here today and ready to share all of that content with you guys i see some gourds are being plinged already yes we did see some gourd dialogue in the luca event but overall it was very good a couple of things i want to mention um in terms of what i kind of thought just sort of as a recap for you guys and some things maybe dmk can improve on i did really enjoy uh the character welcome screens they were very well done the animation the dialogue was very on point with the film um i think some of the character quests in terms of timing and stuff earlier on was was very good i think to the point though where it started to get a little bit uh, too much was in around when we were unlocking Urkele and it was just way too much dialogue um, and it was kind of like the last like two quests for sure were really boring like especially that eight hour quest before he's unlocked was just it was again it was just really boring repetitive and I just thought it was really unnecessary because of how long it took so I think a lot of people didn't quite make it to the point of unlocking Urkele but the interesting thing was is they did allow you if you didn't unlock him um, when he was released they still allowed you to purchase the bundle so I thought that was pretty interesting a different take on it. I think that was probably good for those people that wanted to actually get Urkele and didn't care about the dialogue uh, usually in the past they haven't done that what they've done is gone ahead and made you get to the point of unlocking him and if you unlocked him you know even with five minutes to go you could purchase him right away so it was just interesting um, you know to to sort of see all of that um, kind of transpire um, I'm trying to think oh yeah so I know I talked about it kind of consistently through the event it was a shorter event um, which was fine but but having, um, you know, the turtles that we had to tap, right, for the ice cream cones, they needed to make that every two hours and not four. That was a huge pain in the butt. And I, I know that if you were on your kingdom every four hours, it was manageable. But it's just like 
you know, some people have lives and, you know, I mean, it, to skip four hours is a lot of gems because it's four gems for every hour. So again, you guys do the math here. It adds up even if you were trying to skip a lot of those types of little things. Um, so I thought that was a little bit intense. Um, but again, the dialogue and the animation were on point. The colors were great because we've had some strange colors in the past, like Princess and the Frog. They're a bit dull. They did the colors very well. The attractions were pretty good, too. I think it was unfortunate we didn't get three, but I see because we don't have a lot of room in the kingdom. Um, yeah, the gold trophies. This is the last point here. The, la the gold trophies. I didn't end up getting one. There were only two leaderboards for it, and only the number one person could get it. Um, the last leaderboard, um, I thought, oh, yeah, like I really stand a good chance. And then the last like, oh, I want to say 12 hours. It might have been like 8 to 12 hours. Somebody went crazy and did like, I don't know, like they were at like 800 trophies. And I, I literally, they were sticking around like 150 to 200. And then all of a sudden, I was just like, I have no idea how that happened. Um, but literally there's no buying that out. Like it wasn't like, oh yeah, no, it's just like a little c competition there at the end. It was stupid, stupid though. So absolutely ridiculous. Um, and I think that they should have at least allowed like top five or something, but top one, there's too many either gemmers or cheaters, we call them, um, that you know are kind of out there and i just think even if there wasn't any of that going on only one on those leaderboards it's so so harsh like they should want people to get these trophies these are ha these help with you know the thrill zones and stuff like that which they are really pushing on us so i thought that was a little crummy but um i'm hoping that they'll at least offer that leaderboard sometimes they do for the gold trophies a little bit later on so and this is the first gold trophy i've missed out on so i was very upset very upset. Did anybody actually manage to get any of the gold trophies? Uh, Abby, hello. You preferred Raya mini event. The attractions were better. The Raya events attractions were extremely well done. The dialogue was much better, though, for Luca, I thought, personally, overall. Um, it, was, it was definitely more on point with the film. But not to say Raya's wasn't well done. It was just um, I felt like Luca's was a little better. And the welcome screens, I thought, for Luca were a little bit more, uh, again, keeping with some of the animation with the film and things that happened. So if you guys did, haven't seen the film, and when you finally do, you'll know, what, you'll know what I mean. It was just very, very, very good that way. So, um, yes, I did welcome Urkele. I did. I'm going to share that with you guys. I, ha I had to record it and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that in just a minute for you here. Um, and then I'm going to go over and uh, rate all of the welcome screens as well. Yeah. Uh, I only managed to get one. At least you got one, Disney boy. That's con that's awesome. Congratulations. Sky, you got one too. Summer girl. No, you missed it on as well. Damn. Both of us missed. <sighs> Adrian, you got a gold trophy. You waited to log on very late. I waited a couple of hours before logging on. Um, I didn't want to wait too, too long this time just because I was really trying to make a push uh, for collecting for a clay. It was very difficult um, to do all of that. Uh, he was challenging. They made his tokens for um, the sandwich like ridiculous. Like I, I had my happiness locked in an ecstatic and it just wouldn't drop for me to save my life um, for what was it? Almost two full days. It was well over a day and a half. It was, I think it was just two, like I think I went and I had set my timers and I got no drops. And it was hard because it was only Jesse and Sarge that could collect them um, unless you had uh, Luca and Alberto to a five. And I really wanted to get them there, but I didn't have the ice cream cones. So again, it was just, it was hard for them to demand that kind of, you know, thing if it was way too difficult to get them to a five and then the character token conflicts and everything else. It was like, eh. but I don't know, they're five now, but uh, it's kind of crazy. Urkele struggled with the sandwich, not the ears hats. The hats dropped easily for me. Same, same insanity. Like the ears hats I didn't have any troubles with. They were, uh, they were done like after like a day and a half, I think it was. And then it would just kind of got crazy after that, for sure. 
It's absolutely nuts. Um, okay, so I'm going to take you into the dialogue here, guys. So we're going to start with some of the recorded things. I did do the one side quest. Um, I know I've been trying to keep up with the uh, Finding Nemo slash Dory type of dialogue there because it's it was really good. And we had that tower challenge, you know, just before all of this. So I thought, you know, I wanted to kind of keep going with that. Um, so this one here was Missed Connection. So it was Send Destiny and Dory to Find a Secret Password. So, um, yeah, very interesting. A uh, little bit of whale, I think, here. And then you say password in whale, and I'll know it's you. Yeah, that's way simpler than if you just said my name. And way more fun. Quest complete. Missed connection. I'm so glad to have a, my pipe pal back. All right, so this was one of the shots of my progress here um, with Urkel. And you guys can see that your, the uh, ears hats, I already had five and only two sandwiches. So you can see already, like, and this I still had three days left, how silly that was and how well I was doing with those ears hats. I was, I was quite pleased with myself. I did go ahead on a little extra side note. I did decide to go ahead and clear that cursed land uh, to expand the kingdom. So I've purchased the last land slot that we can purchase right now for six million. So that meant that, you know, I kind of lost all my magic. So it was a little bit uh, sad, but happy at the same time. Sad to be under a million again, but happy that I finally got that last chunk so expensive like what the hell honestly it took so freaking long but at least i have it now and it means i can set up uh to redecorate my entire kingdom for you guys and yeah that'll be an insane stream it's gonna be it's gonna be so much work i'm looking forward to it but holy shenanigans all right i also decided to kind of push along my main storyline Partially because I am a little bit, uh, I don't know, I've, I feel like my ears are burning to the point where I'm wondering with the 101 Dalmatians update that we are getting next, I'm wondering if it could end up being permanent. We don't know for sure. It could be another limited time. Again, makes sense for either one you could go with with this one, but I feel like limited time would be one of those ones like, oh yeah, you could totally do that. Um, but permanent, I feel like we just haven't had enough of that maybe this year. So uh, this is one of those times of years that in the past they have expanded on a collection. So for adding like Cinderella characters and stuff like that, or, you know, again, that's really been the big one. I think they did two years of that where they did Fairy Godmother one year and then they did um, Lady Tremaine, Anastasia, and Drizella. So, oh, again, a lot of interesting th things there. So I'm feeling like it's super possible, and I don't want to be behind on any of my quests that I've just kind of left there buried. So, yeah, since I did the enchantment with the attraction stuff, it should be good. But uh, how can you collect more ears, hats, and sandwiches than they are rare? Like, how does that make sense? You know, I really don't know. Um, it, considering one was rare, one was epic, technically the rare should have been dropping a lot easier. I think the big thing was, is that, um, again, the quest length for Jesse and Sarge were so long in comparison, um, to the quest for the ears hats. There were a bunch of them for the ears hats, but not so much again for the, the sandwiches. So I think that might've been where... The drops weren't good to begin with. And then the time it took, it just, it literally, I almost didn't make it through the event, guys. Um, it was really, really crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is super dumb. So, uh, yeah. Becky, you hope that it's permanent 101 Dalmatians? That would be good. That would be very good. Be where you need 50 of each Luca tokens for him to be a nine. <laughs> Are you already there, hun? Holy shenanigans. This is wild. Yesterday was your 41st birthday, and I saw the new Jungle Cruise movie, and you loved it. Happy birthday, Eddie. Hopefully you had a magical day. Um, I heard that it's extremely good, and I really, really want to watch it. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad that there's my first super good review for it, so... Yay, from one of you guys. So very, very happy. Oh, okay. So let's do the, the Ratatouille dialogue here that kind of pushes that. Hmm. Still on the fence about her. She does have front of house experience and Adelaide, which 
and be easy. And I just skipped like two things. Awful lot of gaps in her work history though. And why would she put experience with exotic animals on her resume? Who is he talking about in the kingdom? Guys, who is he talking about? I mean, on paper, that's almost too relevant to our restaurant. Could she be a plant from Skinner? What? Quest complete. Help wanted. Nah, I'm just overthinking it. If anyone can cook, I'm sure she can wait tables. Not Tiana. Is it Tiana? Who is he talking about? Somebody in the kingdom that's cooking. So, Kylie, Jun Jungle Cruise is so good. Super fun movie. Oh, good. Yay, another good review. Yay. So, how many of you guys have seen it? A Lilo reference? Oh, you think so? You think it's Nani? Oh, my gosh. I totally didn't even think of Nani. I was thinking of somebody who can cook. I was thinking, okay, maybe we're, like, thinking Cinderella or Tiana. But... Like, I was even thinking Mama Odie could be in there, but I did not think of Nani. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, man. I, uh, I gotta lie down and, you know, process how good this is. Squeak. <laughs> so good. We have to put this on our menu. People will love it and, and we'll make a billion euros. <laughs> Wow. Which I will use to buy you a, I don't know, sous vide machine? A rat sized hot tub? Something? Look, I'm going to be honest. I'm not thinking clearly about anything right now, except maybe what you have planned for dessert. Wow. Squeak. Oh, man. Poor guy. Ah. <sighs> Quest complete. Dinner is served. Pineapple ice cream with, is that basil? Because if it is, it is so good. <gasps> Silencio, Silencio Bruno, right? So, so good. I love that line. I send Alberto and Luca to psych each other up. All right, so this is the dialogue for that one here. You think it was Cinderella, eh? Yeah, not sure. Am I doing the concert this weekend? I am not sure about that either. It's a little bit, it's a little bit of ways. Um, I don't know in terms of streaming it if we can yet. I have to look into that just because of the strictness of um, the copyright music and stuff like that. It might just have to be something I do privately, so we'll we'll see, we'll see. I gotta look into uh, what Twitch slash Fortnite is allowing us to do for that. It's hard because I don't I don't want to get in any uh, shenanigans for that. So, and I know the last uh, not the last concert, the concert before they were kind of intense on things. So, yeah, we'll see. I guess, but he's also saying that there's less than a foot of water in that fountain. And also that the roof of the Galatria is actually really far away from the fountain. Like, all the way across the piazza. Usually I try not to listen to him, but this one time Bruno actually is making a lot of really good points. Quest complete. Silencio. Hey, suit yourself. If you change your mind, I'll be up there building the loop-de-loop. -loop. This course sounds crazy. Super crazy. Why does everyone DMK player say Ariana Grande? Because it looks like Fortnite posted something on Instagram that Ariana Grande is going to make it, the appearance as a skin in Fortnite. So I'm kind of thinking that she's finally coming. I wonder if she actually plays it, you know, like during these types of things, I always wonder like who is, who actually plays this game that when their music comes out and stuff in these concerts, I've never really heard anything about her. Um, like I've heard like Drake was pretty into it and stuff like that. Um, but again, I haven't heard anything about Ariana, but I'm super happy she's coming. She's going to be a beautiful skin. <laughs> 
beautiful skin. It's going to be super exciting. So the special order uh, with Colette and Remy, they're going to go cook in the kitchen to kind of continue that whole storyline off. Squeak. And serve hot there. Tomato biscuit. A la little chef. Nice to see your original soup recipe down on paper. We oui? Squeak, squeak. <laughs> well, thank you for preparing it while I wrote this. You will have your own cookbook someday. Best to get a head start. Quest complete. Special order. Just make sure to put me in the acknowledgements, eh? All right. Now, the moment of truth. Urkely coming into the kingdom, guys. This was a very good feeling. It always is once we get to the character that we've been working so hard towards. He was only six seconds to welcome, so very, very easy. Um, but again, it was crazy how much time it took to get him at the end. I was definitely panicking, for sure. All right, here we go with uh, stuffy bully Urkele. Ha-ha, it is I, Urkele. Oh, by the way, just a little side note here. Um... She's going to kill me when I say this, but she knows I, I was going to. My mom's like, oh, my mom said, she goes, so did you get that last guy? What's his name? E. coli. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Anyway, so she's been walking around calling Urkele E. coli because she thinks Urkele is just a stupid name. So, yeah, she clearly hasn't watched the movie, but just just throwing it out there. So she came with, up with uh, Linguini being lasagna and now... I mean, honestly, I should just show her a picture of a Disney character and say, name that Disney character. And the names that she would come up with, guys, literally just go, Pfft. like, I just, I don't understand how I can be so into it and know all the names. And then that happens. Like, what? What? It makes no sense to me. But anyways, so this is E. coli, in case you were wondering. Five-time Portoroso Cup champion, and soon to be the champion once more. The natural order must be restored. How will you do it, you ask? Well, don't. Explain oneself is for the little people. Quest complete, welcome a bully. And if there's one thing Urkele Viscotti is not, it is little or silly looking. Neither of those. Yay, I got him. Yay, yay, yay. Oh my God. I know, right? Kylie is super ridiculous. Super ridiculous. I'm like, she called him a disease, guys. I know. So there is 12 gems for me. And yay. Hi, Urkele. A little preppy bully. It is all so simple. Bait number two. Into challenging me to a rematch, knowing that he cannot ride a bicycle per night. Win the rematch easily, laugh in his sea monster face. Immediately regain the respect of the adorer and the adoration of everyone. Easy. But, uh, Urkele, how are you so sure you'll win? How dare you, number one? And number two, I obviously have a plan for that. A cheater. Prospers? Send Urkele to Booby Trap. The race route. Did they make me just say booby? They did. Wow. Unbelievable. Thank you, Disney Magic Kingdoms. Wow. Okay. So that is two hours. This was an event quest. So again, this is kind of specific uh, to the actual event. You guys wouldn't have got this dialogue here if you didn't, uh, you know, finish all of that. So getting Urkele to a two. There we go. Yay, yay, yay. Alicia, hello. Hey, Diz boy. Thanks, Becky. Thank you, thank you. And here is his welcome screen once again. And he's now a level two. Aha, me? I win the prize. Of course, of course. Then I had to go ahead and get him to a three. But before then, I needed to do the dialogue. So I was running out of time. And in order to do some of the dialogue, I did have to use a few gems. I was kind of pissed, but it was the only way to get through all of it. 
and have him leveled up and everything because it was that close for me getting him. So, yeah. I got him fine in the end, but not the leveling up part. So I was a little cheesed. Cecil, Guido, my hair pomade. Pressed. Oh. Urgh. Ever since those two decided to become horrible betrayers who do not do everything I say, my life has become so hard. Can a universally beloved person such as myself be expected to dry his own sweaters? To wax his own scooter? No. The answer is no. Per mille sardine. Why does anyone know those questions are rhetorical? <sighs> X reign of terror. Yes, exactly. Send Urkele to bemoan his situation. So this was the side quest shenanigans. I found this in my kingdom right after I welcomed Urkele. And just so you know, my mom found the exact same thing. As soon as she welcomed him, she found a chest in her kingdom and got this. So I'm thinking maybe that was just a general thing. Did anybody notice after they got Urkele, they just happened to get the pasta stand? Just, just like to throw out there for sure. I got him, but I couldn't get him to a two. Yeah, that was the super hard part. Super duper cheesed. Super duper cheesed. All righty. Um, I did manage to level up a couple of characters before the event was over, just in terms of... Uh, Really, it was just getting enough ice cream cones and just using up some of that currency because I had quite a bit. So, yeah. So, Julia got to a level four. You see this face? This face can't lose. No, it cannot. She is pretty cute and awesome. And she got some dialogue, but I decided to bring back in a bunch of characters. So this made me feel better yesterday. Yeah, I was not feeling so good, but seeing these welcome screens definitely made things kind of fun. And Owl made it to a level 10. Simply marvelous and well-deserved too, if I might add. Mm-hmm. So Owl was just sitting there, guys. I didn't want to spend the magic on leveling him up. He's been done for ages, so I was just like, eh. I decided to level him up while I was collecting for Urkele. And Bailey I leveled up to. He was pretty quick, a two of five. This is amazing. <laughs> it's the best, seriously. Uh... Well, we don't know what they're going to add for 101 Dalmatians. We can definitely assume Cruella de Vil, though. The Mandalorian, he's been sitting there to be leveled up to a 10, and now he is. This reward will sponsor many foundlings. Yep, which is good. We like supporting the foundlings. All that best guy for us, right? You want Dumbo's mom and the pink elephants? Oh my gosh, <laughs> that would be hilarious. All right, here is Urkele back in the kingdom and now a level three. Of course, Urkele's life is amazing and everyone loves him. Right. I mean, we love having you in the kingdom because you were in the event, but I don't know if we like love, love you. <laughs> oh, yeah, damn Urkele. Damn, Urkele. You like how Nemo characters stay in the river. It's a nice detail. Yeah, for sure. And his Little Mermaid's like that too, so that's pretty nice. So there's Urkele eating his sandwich. Yeah, I feel like him and Goofy have something in common now. I still think, though, that if Goofy and Urkele went up against each other for uh, like the amount of con sandwiches consumed, Goofy would like a 1,000% win that. All right, so here was the dialogue attached with Julia here. Okay, I'm ready. This isn't to prove anything to anybody except myself. Yep, I'm gonna do it. Ready, andiamo. I have no idea what that means. Hopefully it is an appropriate word. Unfinished business. Send Julia to challenge the Portorosa Tower. And leveled up Alberto, of 
course, naturally. And here is the dialogue. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but I needed to get a whole bunch of shenanigans done. So, Ercole, so this is that quest um, for the event. Ah, Chibelle, a beautiful afternoon to walk around the town, eating a delicious sandwich. Coincidentally, letting portions of my thumbtack collection fall from my pocket onto, wow, all of the Portoroso's main roads. Seriously, thumbtacks? Well, Maleficent would curse you just for your <laughs> stupidity, you stupido. Oh, and uh, what of uh, the many slippery vegetables falling from my sandwich? Where will they go? Who can say? Quest complete. A cheater prospers? Not me. For certain, it is better not even to bother asking. Dude, but don't you have to go on the same course? Aren't you just going to blow your own tires? Like, seriously? Now that I have spent the past hour doing nothing underhanded whatsoever, I have a race to win. And if anyone has anything to say about that, I do not. You! Basta! This... Whoa. You just need an RD, and that is a bad word. Send Urkele and Julia to face off. What does basta mean? I, I don't know. It makes me very concerned. Very, very concerned. So this is Urkele just chilling there, and I thought this was kind of funny. So I decided to just do a little recording of this quest. She uh, she takes a fish to him. It was, it was a great moment. He's scared of the fish, apparently. Anna Karen, hello. You got a question. Why did you level him up to a three? It's not required to complete the event. I had enough tokens for it. So why not get a jump start on that? One, I didn't want to use my magic, you know? Why would I do that? We saw you, Urkele. We saw the whole thing. And if you think you're going to cheat your way into winning, you... <laughs> Who is cheating? Even if I believed your silly little telescope story, which I do not, what proof do you have? There is literally a row of tiny road spikes all the way across Via Rivello, Ercole. Ha! You say sabotage, I say someone has been playing a very enthusiastic game of jacks. And I like my version better. Quest complete. Basta. Basta means stop. Okay. Thank you very much, Hernandez. But if you want to pick them all up in the two minutes before the race begins, good luck. Really? But there's no way we can get rid of every single trap in time. What are we going to do? The only thing we can do. Trust Alberto to be Alberto. He knows the track and he's trained his way. Even with the odds stacked against him, I know he can do this. How about you? Yeah, yeah. If he can beat Bruno, he can beat Ercole too. Come on, Julia. Let's get to the finish line and uh, cheer him on. Onward to victory. So this event quest, this one was just like, I felt like this needed to be like 30 seconds at the end. It was just, there's no time to do this. Seriously. Seriously. Send Luca and Julia to cheer at the Portoroso, or Portoroso Tower and send Alberto to the Portoroso Tower to raise Urkelet. So I leveled up during that whole quest. Leveled up Alberto. Love this welcome screen. So good. <laughs> Two of five. Great. Uh, I mean, fine, whatever. Yeah, fine, whatever. How impossible. Every single road in town was blocked except mine. And still you, you. Yeah, about that. I didn't take any roads. Kinda not my thing. Mostly roofs, clotheslines, and railing slides. Wow. Creative. <laughs> Oh, and a trampoline. I think the Alberto's program's big on improvising, but I remember there was at least one trampoline. 
Hey, now that we know how good my way works, let me know if you want lessons. Who knows? I may beat you by less next time. Arr. Quest complete. Onward to victory. Okay. So is that a yes -er or a no? -er? Going to have to speak. Ah, oh, buddy. <laughs> That was it. Thank you for playing the Luca event. Yay! It was sad to be over, but again, I'm so happy that I did it and got the characters. So a little recap. We started off with Luca, and then after about 24 hours, we were able to start collecting for Alberto. Machiavelli, the cat, was the premium character that we could get right away, so that was fantastic. He was very helpful, um, and his welcome screen was pretty entertaining. Um, and then we welcomed Julia, did way too many quests, and then unlocked and then worked hard to bring in Urkeles. So totally crazy. So don't worry, guys, if you didn't manage to get all the characters here or any of them. Maybe you haven't, didn't do the event at all or whatever. Um, the Luca characters will be available in-game in the future. Now, this means via legendary chests. Or this could mean in a tower challenge in the future. So it just depends. The best way I would say if you're looking for them, you know, as soon as possible, that is going to be probably the legendary chest. They probably won't be coming out though until around September, maybe a little later than that. Um, but that's probably going to be the next time that we will see any uh, Luca characters kind of come back you know, to visit in the kingdom. But until then, that means at least you guys have all this here. You'll see some dialogue as I'm leveling up the characters and, of course, all the welcome screens. Once the event was over, I did have enough currency to get 14 gems. So that was really nice, um, especially because I needed to spend some of that on the dialogue at the end because, again, there was just not enough time to do it. So that was a little bit uh, frustrating. I did buy the land. I showed that I, I bought that. So actually, I think in this image right here, it actually shows um, that I waited the three days and cleared all of that. So it was just a matter of a swipe of my finger and it was clear. So that means clearing my kingdom is going to be on the chopping block now um, at some point during the tower challenge to clear it out and uh, decorate it as best that I can in one stream. Oh, it's going to be a lot of work. Hopefully I can do it. The last time I did it took like six hours. So I just, I mean, Fortnite I can do for like six hours, but decorating a kingdom, it's a, it's a lot of work. It's a lot, a lot of work. Um, okay, so I wanted to go through right now the characters welcome screens that were my favorite. So best or worst to best. So starting with Luca, uh, Luca was definitely um, my character that I chose to be number five. Um, his welcome screen was fine, but it was nothing crazy. He just kind of walks in with his book. I feel like there could have been maybe a little bit more to it, maybe a splash of water or something, and he shakes it off like anything. Um, that could have made it very interesting, but we didn't see um, any of that kind of happen. Uh, so I guess a number four. Four, I would say, would be Urkele. Again, his welcome screen wasn't anything particularly crazy, but um, I decided that he deserved my number four spot. Again, very similar to Luca, just kind of walk in and look at us and, you know, that little judgmental look. But, I mean, whatever. It is done. Um, then we had... Uh, it was Julia at number three. I did really like hers. I would have given her number two, but I made the decision to give her number three. Her welcome screen was very good for her, for sure. The riding in and stuff like that with the bike, very creative. Um, I think it was a good welcome screen for her. But I did decide to, where is he? Sorry, I tried to get it in the right order here for me, but it, you know, just doesn't, doesn't let me move my clips around. I decided to give Machiavelli the number two spot just because of this. 
<laughs> he just pops up in your face and it's just not necessarily something you'd expect. And I don't know, I guess I just kind of, um, you know, enjoyed that, uh, that whole thing there. So I thought it was uh, pretty entertaining, that's for sure. You'd love a kingdom reorganization. It's one of my favorite things to watch. It's going to be a long one, Kylie. A very, very long one. I hope I hope you're ready for that one. Um, okay, that was Machiavelli. Oh, there he is. Alberto. Here he is. He was my number one. Um, I thought his was the best. Definitely very fitting to him. You know, a little bit of chaos, you know, his uh, bike slash Vespa crash. Yep, very well known. Totally represents him. It was perfect. I thought that was the best one for sure. So yeah, uh, yeah, just let me know uh, what y how you would rate the Luca characters from five to one. I feel like some people will disagree with me with Machiavelli and Julia. I think some of you guys might say, oh, Julia had a better than Machiavelli. But I think that's just a matter of, you know, opinions and stuff there. Will I be doing Genshin tonight? I am going to be doing some Genshin probably tonight um, after I... I'm probably going to do some Arena or something like that. I'm just waiting to uh, hear back from Ant though about that. So, And if that's the case, then I'll do some chatting with you guys, get in maybe a solo or two, and then do some Arena, um, and then do some Genshin. Um, but yeah, no, I remember the other day, X, I was, I'm sorry I didn't end up streaming, um, but we will, if you want to do some of the, uh, the dungeons or whatever, or go over some of your, your characters and stuff like that, then we can definitely do that. Pixar is kind of the, Pixar or Chris are kind of the legends for like putting stuff together, um, you know, at the moment, but I'm more than, yeah, yeah, there's Pixar, more than happy to help for sure. <laughs> Um, you went to watch the Jungle Cruise. How was it? Did you like it? You have both Luca and Alberto going to a nine. What? Oh my gosh. How did you get all of them that quickly? Hopefully near the end so I can join. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I love it. I totally love it. All right, so that was everything from the recorded stuff, guys. Oh, it's getting to that time of day, isn't it? It's almost six. I'm probably going to be a little bit behind for uh, Twitch today, but um, got to turn weird for my poor neck. Ah, okay, there we go. <laughs> we are back here. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit, guys, um, showing you that I did manage here. I just put whatever in this area of the kingdom. It is not fully decorated, but just enough so that I can get some magic and stuff like that kind of going. Um, so yeah, definitely willing to do that. You got Alberto and Luca to an eight. Wow, you guys are like rock stars getting them that high. That's wild. I still can't beat the purple cube at the domain to unlock AR-26. Uh, Becky, I would definitely recommend using uh, Shang Ling. Um, I know that you did say you had her, so put some like artifacts on her um, if you can. She is super useful for the purple cube, and she does help with that, uh, you know, that domain there. So if you have her, then you'll beat it in time. I know that it took me a couple of times to beat it as well. Um, it was really annoying on stream, but I did manage to do it just by doing that. So. Um, I, if you need some help, like in terms of a build for that, I'm sure that we can help you up with it. You just have to wait to save your, um, your charged attack till the very end. Once you've like, you know, you've got obviously those, those little tiny cubes or pillars or whatever to beat at the end, you need that supercharged attack. Cause basically you can just run and just stand at each one and it'll just take it out. You almost don't need to do anything else. So Super duper good. Am I streaming on Thursday for the TC? That is the plan. I'll go over it. Again, I'm not, there's not going to be much for me to participate, but that's going to be the thing. Thank you, Char, for the $2 super chat. Can I answer your question? Um, I just see, can you answer my question? I don't, you just sent a message on Insta. Is that your question? I don't know if that's much of a question for me to answer. <laughs> 
Harry Potter 2 on Monday? I don't know. Um, that is something you'll have to uh, schedule for the, the P2P uh, if you're doing that. That has nothing to do... Uh, that really doesn't have anything to do with me, and you know that. <laughs> so hopefully I managed to, uh, to help you out there. Is this Genshin talk? Uh, yeah, we were talking a little bit about Genshin, yeah, because we had uh, a couple questions about it, which is totally fine. I don't mind doing that. Did I enjoy the sun on Saturday? I did, I did. It was nice to get out. Um, went to a baseball game. Was it Saturday? or fr No, that was Friday. Friday I went to the game. Saturday, uh, there wasn't much sun. I was in a lot of pain yesterday. I really didn't do very much um, except whine and complain about how sorry I was. <laughs> it was one of those. It was one of those days, guys. I mean, I'm in pain today, but I took some like Advil and stuff, so I'm alive. It's not particularly enjoyable, but. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Please take care of your neck. Don't strain it. I know how painful it can be straining it. Kichu, I know. I, like, I never really had anything super crazy with my neck. Like, sure, maybe, like, my back or something like that. Like, I've definitely had some stuff with my back that kind of hurts my shoulders. But for it to be just so targeted at the neck for rotating, it's just, like, unbelievable. Like... It's it's just a weird pain that just was giving me like also massive headaches and it's just an area I can't really work on that well by myself. So I just I probably just have slept on it really really messed up and it's I don't know. I usually sleep on my back and I think I slept on my side and I don't know whatever. I guess I'm not used to it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a powder puff. What can I say? I'm just, I don't really know. How was the baseball game? It was awesome. It was so, so good. I had so much fun. I definitely, um, I don't know. I think if I can take a couple of, uh, couple of evenings here and there to go and go and do that, I would definitely really enjoy doing that, you know? Um, you know, just to get out. It's just nice to actually do something outside as well and like not have to wear a mask the, you know, when I'm sitting down and stuff. Um, and watch some sports. Like, I just haven't been able to do any of that for, like, two years now. Like, it's just, it's absolutely insane. So, I'm happy. I'm happy I got to go out, you know? <sighs> I thought you messed up the day. Well, at least we in August now. Yes, we are in August. No, I didn't mess up the day or anything. I just, I messed up my day by not being able to, like, see very well with the amount of pain I was in. <laughs> Uh, you have neck pain almost every day. I can't even imagine. And this just sucks. It just sucks. Like, so debilitating. I look as red as a lobster. Mm, no, not red. It might just be the weird light at the moment, but I, no, I'm not red. Maybe, maybe you're watching on a bad quality, <laughs> a bad quality thing right now. Uh, they add a Dumbo hat stand in the calendar. Oh, did they? Um, oh. These damn starter packs, man. Uh, oh, yeah, they did. Look at that, guys. For newbies, you guys will get uh, some interesting stuff there. Amanda's here. I love that you added the palm tree, Alicia. I was like, palm tree. <gasps> Aloha. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I'll just send these guys out. Everybody's kind of useless now, but look, guys, I'm already at 500,000 magic. Are you proud of me? Look at that grind. Look at that freaking grind for magic. It's beauteous. I'm going to have to come up with some good music for like when I decorate my land. I'm gonna have to have like different tunes going or something. It'll probably have to be Fortnite tunes cause uh, you know, the nice free music there, but <laughs> no copyright sounds. I love it. 
But, uh, yeah, no, I think that'll be nice to have at least that going for us. We'll have some magical music or something I can find. It's too bad we actually couldn't listen to, like, an actual Disney playlist. Could you imagine how much nicer that would be if there was no such thing as, like, music copyright shenanigans? It would make streams so much nicer for everyone, I'm sure. Do -do -do. I have some side quests I'm going to have to do for Star Wars. Like, oh my goshes. They're getting a little bit out of control there. Um, but I don't think I want to do any of that just yet. But, yeah. All right, I think that's essentially... Oh, no, I've got a couple characters to bring back, I guess. Or at least one. I can't remember if I leveled anybody else up. Well, let's bring back Rhea into the kingdom. Yes. Love it. So intense. Love the sword. And she is now a level seven. Wonder what my Ba would think of this. I wonder if he'll ever come into the kingdom. I'm sure he will. It would be weird if he never came. That would be sad. Okay, so apparently it was just her. Um, no, everybody's gone out now. Okay. Um, no, he's out too. There's gotta be one of these dingbats at home. Oh yeah, Ding, Lord Dingwall. Yay. Oh my gosh, I have 600 of the common tokens. You have no idea. I've been grinding that shenanigans so, 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 so hard. It is crazy. But yeah, anyway, so that's that. So I'm 500,000 magic still. Yes. <laughs> How's my neck? It's sore, Amanda. It's very sore. Did I get your gift on Fortnite the other day? Uh, the skin, you mean? No, you were there for that. Uh, is it another one? What? I hate collecting the flutes for Peter Pan, but I do have 15 of 35. Oh, you're doing really good, sickle. Rock on. Oh, that light, eh? I need my, my sunglasses. So crazy. What level is my gourd? He's maxed out now. So, yeah, I'm done. Thank goshes. So, so happy that that's over. Um, I'm going to get ready to go on Twitch, guys. Um, but I hopefully we'll see some of you guys there. If you guys haven't uh, checked me out on Twitch, then make sure you guys do come check out the craziness that's going to happen today. I'm sure there's going to be... Uh, some yelling and screaming and some calmness towards the end if we're doing Genshin. What did I do? I think I slept on it wrong. Um, I don't, like, honestly, it's just so bad. I, 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 can't, I can't think of anything else that I did. But anyway, yeah, even lifting this one arm, I'm like, eh. <laughs> Oh, cripple. It's horrible. All right. I will see you guys over on Twitch. I'm going to try and get ready in the next like 10 minutes. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. Bye.